hips up towards the sky, hold on to the swing. I keep my arms wrapped around still, right? So I'm gonna wiggle. We'll swing into the lower back. So this is how we came into our bow last time. We reached back in, we grabbed the ankles. All right, so we just went into a deep bend at the hip creases, and so we're counterbalancing. We're grabbing our ankles, coming into bow. If you can't reach your ankles, just reach back towards them energetically. All right, everybody good? Nice, yeah. Really nice. So we want to pull our knees in just slightly and push our hips up towards the sky to come into the full bow. Yeah. Now from here, release your ankles and hold on to the swing. Just kind of follow the, the cues since you can't see me. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my legs wide and around to hook my feet in front. So the front plane is when I can look up and see my feet. So hook up in front of the swing. So the other side, Adrian, put them on the, the face side. Your feet are on the same side as your face. Not your butt. Yes. Got it. So now, et voila, we're in our inversion. Pass your hands behind your head and just pull straight down on the neck. Is everybody head off the ground on this? No. <laughs> so just tuck your chin into your chest and then pull on your neck. Traction the neck. There you go. It's okay to kind of be in a shoulder stand too. So just create some space in there. Should feel really, really good. And then we're going to reach up, grab for the swing between our legs, bring our legs wide. See if you can kick your leg loops off. Kick them off. And then come to sit. So scissor kick the legs down. Nice. Okay, so get your leg loops off if you can. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Another free hat. <laughs> All right, really good, guys. So back to our sumo squat, just swaying in the space. So what we want to do to transition is we're going to come into a wide straddle. So start to walk your feet. So try to keep them kind of in the center of the mat, as wide as you can. And then when we shift forward, we, we shoot our hips back behind us, hooked with the elbow faces. So. Peppermint patty is when we lean forward, but we're not going to do that right now. We're just going to stay leaning back. Hips in line with the ankles and then shimmy into the, full, um, the fold of the elbows. Yeah, drop your heart. See what it's like to drop the heart but keep the head in line with the spine? A lot of times we round in and drop the head. But see what it's like to let the crown of the head shoot towards the front of the room here and let the heart drop. Beautiful, guys. Stay here, so we're making a nice long line of energy from the tailbone to the crown of the head. Mm -hmm. And then the heart can sit down really good. So we want this to happen. because we want to get this axis, like a pillar, running from the tailbone to the crown of the head. So we feel that pillar of light. We don't want to kink the stall anywhere, but we also want to drop the heart down towards the ground. Shift your hips a little from side to side. Loosen up the hips, but keep the alignment so you're holding on with your elbows all of your weight. Mm -hmm. Head is relaxed as much as possible. <sighs> Just make the swing a little bit bigger. Maybe have your gaze trace the semicircular shape of the mat. So you're like the half circle. Beautiful. And just pause at the edges. Notice what happens when we start to spin the energy from side to side. Notice what happens in the hips, but also notice what happens in the outer shin. Some excitement there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hold on tightly with the elbows, and now we're shifting forward into peppermint patty. Onto the tippy toes, ooh la la. Just a bit forward. <laughs> and then back. Try it one more time. 
Inhale, shift forward. Nice, and your chest. Settle back. Beautiful. So why don't we just go ahead and drop the swing down. I usually do some strengthening there, but feel what it's like to actually lose the swing for a little bit and just notice what a different relationship to gravity you have now, right? Everything feels so much heavier. <laughs> and then, so it's like, wait a second, I like the floating and flying sensation. And slowly just round up. Let's change. I'm going to change direction, so we're all facing forward now. So you guys are good. Same where you are, you're just going to put the swing in front of you. So let's come into some forward folds. They're going to be great in these if you want to shift to the back of the room so they can see you. Okay? So you can see Amy when you're upside down now. <laughs> you happy there? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So we bring the swing, I'm going to go this way just to show you. We bring the swing, we stretch it with straight arms all the way down to the hips. So sometimes we like to fold from the belly, but we're not going to do that today. Or the bladder, we're going to fold from the legs. So we shift forward and we let our upper body completely drape down. So our heels are lifted. We're pushing our weight forward onto the balls of the feet. So it's a little bit different than a normal forward fold. That's great. There you go. Bend your elbows a lot so your whole upper body is draping down. So no weight in the arms whatsoever. So we just yeah. So we let this happen through the side body as much as possible. So let the swing hold you completely. Got it. All right. So clasp the elbows so you can hang completely. There you go. So it might feel a little different because we're so used to rounding the back to get into the forward folds that it's going to be different to let the head come closer to the ground than we normally do and the waist will stay long. And clasp the hands behind the head. Once again, traction in the back of the neck. Let that feel good to get more space in the cervical spine. And then gently rock from side to side to sway the hips in the space. So I call it happy dog when we wag our tail. Okay. So we're going to keep our feet pressing down strongly. We're just going to inhale and open up our arms wide to a T and look forward, lift the chest. So we're on our, yeah, we're on our tippy toes and now our dog is flying. <laughs> Thanks. Exhale, round back in and now grab for your ankles. Pull in if you can. So pull your chest towards your knees, but keep your head in line with your body. So instead of having the intensity under the arms, now you can feel the intensities at the hip flexors. So now just rock back and forth from heel to toe, pull your heels down, and then roll onto the top of your toes. So not side to side, back and front. <laughs> so pull your heels down, and then roll back up onto your toes. Yeah. So just notice the difference of stretching the hamstrings here. Beautiful, guys. Okay. So let's release our ankles, let's float. So bring your forearms down. Forearms down to the ground. You can see Amy back there if you need a reference. Okay, and then let your feet come up. Let them be about two feet off the ground, not higher than the hips. So now we're in the floating lead. Straight legs if you can. And we're just going to slowly rock back and forth. So just pull forward and then rock back. You might get an intense massage on the hip flexors. Just let it feel good. Keep weight in the legs. So this is our no big deal stretching, right? We're just going to let gravity do all of the work. We're just hanging out. Let it feel good. Start to relax and soften into the hip flexors, even though there's something intense happening <laughs> there. And then let's just land it. So your feet land. You press your arms straight. And we're in down dog. Okay, voila. So feel like your hands can come forward off of the mat will be at the back of the mat, and that'll be about right. If you're longer, then you can come into a longer stance. So feet are hip distance. So not wide hips in this one for down dog if you can. And then we're just going to sway from side to side.
side again. So happy dog, right? Wag your tail. Notice you have a lot more play in your swing in your traditional yoga pose. So just enjoy loop de loops, figure eights, infinity, infinity symbols, whatever feels good for today. You just know that that massaging is like a free romping session <laughs> on your hip flexors. And they'll be way different when we're done. Beautiful. Start to bring it back to center. We're going to inhale and arch and just look forward. So we call it the cat's meow. It's like a down dog and cat cow got together. Exhale, round in, looking towards your navel. Really round the spine here. So inhale, arch and open, look forward. Exhale, press back and round in. One more time, inhale, look forward. This time let's add a leg, so left leg lifts, arch. Exhale, pull the knee into the chest and round. Inhaling, lift and arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. So foot is going to go from the outside in and hook onto the swing. Keep the foot nice and low, close to your glutes. Hook it outside in, so the other way. So pull your leg out to the side and then hook it so the toes are pointing in. Yeah. Nice. So nice long body. So come back into the down dog. Create a knee. So push your chest towards your knees. So one leg dog. A little more intense on the right hamstring, yeah? You feel like you can always bend the knee or the right if you need to slightly. So stay here if you're happy. If you want to go a little bit deeper, we're going to come into a standing split. So jump the right foot to the center of the mat. Center. Okay? And then press the left foot towards the sky. So keep it hooked. Yes. Press it straight. Really good. Just come as far as it feels good today. So right now, everybody's arms are straight, and if you want to use gravity and let the swing hold you, you're going to bend the elbows and hang. Oh, et voila. There it is. Hello, hips. All right, great. So only go as far as it feels good, but you can really let all of your weight drift straight down. There's no weight in the arms whatsoever. And then if you want to play, you can balance. You can bring your arms out to the sides. Mm -hmm. Now, if it's too much, so Adrian, try pressing your left leg all the way straight and then letting your right foot float. So that's another way to come into it. So you can straighten the left and then just let, let the left float. So it's still heavy with the right, but yes, now you can come down onto your forearms. Very good. That's another version of standing splits for the tight hamstrings. Really good. Now, if you're standing in the splits, clasp your hands behind your back and stretch them overhead. So this is a big chest opener. There you go. Find the balance. Beautiful, Jen. You know, you might sway a little in the space. <laughs> Start floating away, just like the carry took you. Beautiful, guys. So release the clasp. Everybody come down. So let's practice a little bit of our twists here. So we're going to reach, so re-land the right foot if you were floating. Place the right hand underneath your chest. Left arm reaches towards the sky. Oh, twisting splits. Okay, if you want to take it a little bit further, that left hand can reach back for the right side of the swing. So thumb is pointing towards the sky. Mm -hmm. Really good. So watch me first. All I do is I turn my toes to the right and I pick up my right hand. I'll float out to the side. Just try it. It's a little trust involved. There you go. So now all of a sudden we're in half moon. So you can either stay with your right hand on the ground or you can reach up a little bit higher with your left. And that way you can stretch your neck and shoulder out. Mm -hmm. So this should feel really good. Stay here for a couple of breaths. Play around with it. Can I show you a version of how to get into this one? You want to try it? Sure. You can just walk your hands over to the side. Walk yourself over. Really well. And then the left arm reaches up to the swing. Mm -hmm. This side. Yes. There you go. Now you're in a version of half moon but floating. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 